Down by 13 points in the MAC opener at Miami last Saturday, the Western Michigan football team stormed back with four second half touchdowns. Junior quarterback John Wasink threw for a career high 439 yards and five touchdowns. He also rushed for a touchdown that provided the winning margin. Freshman wide receiver Jaden Reed, who caught four touchdown passes in the game, tied the school record for touchdown receptions in a game set in 2005 by Greg Jennings. And linebackers Drake Spears and Alex Grace each had eight tackles as the Bronco defense held Miami to just 12 second half points. Final score, Western Michigan 40, Miami 39. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week five of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff but we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. When home improvements are in your future, you should call BlackBerry. For more than 35 years, BlackBerry has provided windows, roofing, siding and sunrooms with thousands of satisfied customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, you can get 10 of our best-selling high-performance double-hung windows for only $48.60 installed. 18 months no interest and $48.60 installed. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us. And to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. And back to throw is Wassing, throws up the fade to Reed. He's got it for the touchdown. Jaden Reed on the fade into the left corner of the end zone, and the Broncos are a point away from tying this game. Jaden Reed with his first of four touchdown passes Saturday afternoon at Miami as he tied a school record set by Greg Jennings in 2005. That was quite a game, and what a game for Bird. Yeah, he, uh, for a freshman, you know, and, and we, we had a lot of good matchups. We liked the matchup of who he was covering, and they tried to switch that up a couple times, and, uh, man, he just kept, kept making plays. John put some great balls on him, but he made some, some big-time plays. Yeah, John Wassing throwing for 439 yards, five touchdown passes, even scored a touchdown. He was outstanding. He was, and, and he, he's – Definitely the leader of our team and, and was on point with the, where he's putting the ball. He saw the defense as well, uh, you know, got us in and out of run plays. You know, I was really proud. That, that run on fourth and ten was a big one, and, you know, he kind of solidified himself. as a, He started to get more vocal and be a leader, but he's got some weapons too, which is nice when you're a quarterback. John got one of the weekly Davey O'Brien awards, and the MAC Offensive Player of the Week honor went to Jaden Reed. Yeah, it's um, – you know, to have those type, we had, we had a bunch of guys participate, or not participate, make big plays in the game and uh, make themselves known. And, and I was really, really proud of all the receivers. Jaden got the touchdown catches, but there was a lot of great catches by all the receivers. Didn't start so well as uh, <laughs> they took that opening kick to the house. Yeah, I, the, Cam did a great job kicking it. And, you know, first time kicking off, and I thought he did a good job. And we got a little soft to the field. They're normally cut off guys, but they tried to bring it back to the field on us, and we did not do a good enough job. So it wasn't exactly how we saw this thing starting, but we're happy with the way it finished. There's a stretch play right there. It looks pretty. 
Here's the Max leading rusher, Levante Bellamy. Yeah, the, the line's doing a great job. He's running hard and doing a lot of great things. This is like our third play. We had that dialed up. We knew we were going to have a shot at it and get, uh, get Bird going early. Yeah, over the middle to uh, Jaden Reed. You call him Bird. Yeah, his nickname. He had that in high school. Here's his one, first touchdown pass. The, the hard part when you get down low is that if you're, if you're going to play man coverage, you got to pick which leverage you want. If you want to play outside, we're going to run a slant. If you want to play inside, we're going to run a fade. And the Bird's just so quick, it's hard to cover both. All right, Miami back with the football. You did a great job against the run, held them to 55 yards of rushing. Yeah, they were coming off a 300-yard uh, day, and so we, we knew they were going to try to line up and run it on us, and we shut that down and forced the fifth-year senior to throw on us, and he, he had a good day. we gotta, we got to get better, uh, but we definitely took him out of the things they wanted to do. All right, here you go back to work. Here's T. Eskridge. He leads the Mid-American Conference in receiving yards per game. Yeah, he's so explosive. The teams are starting to play off him some more, so we're able to run some stop routes underneath. Uh, and you know, pick our pick our times to take shots with him. But he made a one-handed grab that was beautiful. So I was proud of the way he played. Good read there by John. And uh, now you throw up the sideline, and there's Reed into the end zone, number two on the day. Yeah, Eskridge almost ran over. He wasn't supposed to be there. He's supposed to be in on the hash, but he saw you know he saw the opening and. Uh, you know, great call. We've been waiting to run that play for a couple of weeks now, and, and finally we got the, the perfect coverage for it, and, and that was really just a pitch and catch. Corbin Mullman in there on a tackle, and I'll tell you what, uh, defense, they're getting better every week. You have a are. lot of young guys in there. They are, and they're getting, it's fun to watch them get better, and, and you know, they, we gave up 39 points, but our kickoff team gave up seven. Our offense gave up 10 by turning the ball over inside the red zone. So, uh, so we gave up 22 points, and we got to be better than that, but uh, I really think they're getting stronger every week. What a beautiful day in Oxford, Ohio, for this football game. Just gorgeous. No wind to speak of, and now you go back to work in the second half, and you had to, well, fire them up there at halftime, and you did just that. Yeah, we just we had to get out of our own way is what we had to do, and, and, uh, you know, and, and we did. In the second half, we were really explosive. We went three and out in the first set, and then after that, I mean, we the, the passing game got going, the running game got going, and, and we weren't we weren't going to get stopped. I mean, we only punted one time the entire day, which is uh, normally a sign of of we're moving the ball at a fairly good clip. These are second quarter highlights. Western Michigan moving the ball, and you got down there close to the goal line and uh, couldn't punch it in. Yeah, it was frustrating. You know, they kept loading the box on us. I mean, the reason that we had the passing success we had was because they were loading the box and giving us great one on one matchups and. And so we can get Bird, who obviously is a punt returner right here, the ball in one-on-one -on -one spaces. So, so we kept trying to trying to punch it in down there, and uh, you know we didn't, and that's something we're going to work on, and we've been working on, and, and we're going to get better at it. Jaden leads the MAC in punt returns and in touchdown scores. You you got a lot of Broncos at the top of the charts uh, in, in the Mid American Conference. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's it's exciting, and and we're we just got to be consistent doing it. You know, here's another underneath route to seven because they're they're playing so far over the top of them, and uh, you know they played a good game. They played a really solid game, and I think they you know from what we saw on film, they were executing at a high level and making plays and making catches and. And so I think they gave us their best shot, and I wish we would have given them our best shot, but uh, we stumbled a little bit early and then kind of hit the gas late. This is a pretty good quarterback, Gus Ragland, fifth-year guy, uh, very experienced. Yeah, his record in MAC play is like 10-2 and two or something like that. Uh, so he's, he is a ton of ways a winner. He's purely a winner. It's never pretty. It's never this. It's never that. He's a winner. And so to beat a guy like that was, uh, was good. We knew it was going to be difficult. Forced him to kick the field goal there after they came up with a turnover. Then they got another turnover right away and put a touchdown up. Yeah, and that's the offense's fault. We have not. Uh, I forget who asked me last week where the, we were one of five teams in the country not to lose a fumble. And they totally jinxed us, whoever asked me that question, because <laughs> we dropped, we lost two fumbles in the first half, uh, but we recovered late. All right, we'll be back and take a look at the second half comeback by Coach Lester's Broncos after a timeout on Bronco Review. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford. Or a certified used vehicle. Score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far from your next car. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more. 
like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Choosing your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here. Grow here. Little Caesars has done it again by giving you one large pizza piled high with five delicious meat toppings. Hot and ready every day between 4 and 8 p.m. for only nine bucks. You heard me right. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Meat toppings, including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Order yours on our convenient mobile app or simply walk into Little Caesars and pick up your large, hot and ready five meat feast for just $9 tonight. Pizza, pizza. As the snap back to throw, throws in the end zone for Drake Harris. Somehow he got his foot down. Touchdown to Drake Harris. His first career touchdown. Both officials looked at each other and then went up with the two hand signaling touchdown. Incredible catch by Drake Harris, his first career touchdown, and he uh, made quite a move there to get his toe tab down before he fell out of bounds. Yeah, the catch was amazing, but how he got his foot down, I still, John left it a little wide, and um, that, was a, that was a major league catch, and that kind of got him going, because he made two or three other big-time catches after that, and, and I think he's just starting to catch his rhythm, and that's what we've been trying to get him going, and, and I feel like he's getting there. It's fun to watch. Yeah, he's second on the team in receptions with 20, and that was his first college reception for a touchdown after he played for Michigan to start his career. And now here we go with the uh, second half, and you're down uh, as you've been before, but uh, rally back. <laughs> yeah, and it's you know that was our one punt. We three and outed. We didn't like the way it started. Uh, we had a we had a little bit a bit of miscommunication with the signal with John, and it's, we ended up running a play we didn't want to run. But, uh, man, from that point on, we, we kind of made a, a stand on the sideline that they, we weren't going to get stopped again. And, and from that point on, we, we scored every time we had it. That was a look at your run defense, which we said was outstanding all day. And now you go deep to Dwayne Eskridge. Unfortunately, that play got called back, but he came right back and, and did it again. Catch. Yeah, he, he was it was amazing. And, and John put that ball right on the money. John. Uh, you know, had a, obviously a great game. Here's another one to Bird. That matchup was just unfair. We, we knew from the moment we broke the huddle and we saw who went out there to cover and we had a great chance of hitting that one. And John knew it too. And it was good to get us back on the board and cut it to seven. Touchdown number three for Jaden Reed. Yeah, I didn't even know that was going on. I mean, you don't even pay attention during a game. You're talking about what, what will work, what do you guys like. And I didn't even realize he had four, I got to be honest with you, until after the game. All right, here you go. Your kick coverage team doing a good job after they Got you there the first time on the kick return, but here's your defense making plays. Alex Grace, Corbin Moment, Justin Tranquil, they Drake play. Spears. Ralph Holly played great and as well as a D lineman, but all those those linebackers, safeties, uh, you know, they just kept flying to the ball, making plays. There's Tranquil coming in right there, and uh, you know, just make them uncomfortable, make them make plays. And that guy was on his back foot making throws, and they, they were they were playing well on offense and. Uh, the good part is we just kept we kept playing. Yep, and uh, you make them kick a field goal, and and uh, they missed that one. Yeah, they kept us in it, you know, and and so it was it was big for us to we, we kept getting down two scores. That was the one-handed grab that was about impressive yeah. of the catches I've seen. John threw it on time. That is such a timing throw. I've been trying to get him to make that throw for a long time. He did it without hesitation, and 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 D stuck a hand out, and we we were kind of getting it rolling at this point. Uh, you know, we'd score to cut it to seven. And then they'd end up taking, making it to 14. We'd score to cut it to seven, and then our defense started to make some stands, and, and we really got we got to a point where we could get back in the game. Drake Harris with a shoestring catch there, and then he comes back and makes the touchdown grab, just getting the foot in bounds there on the sideline. I mean, he threw his t the toe tap was one of the more impressive things. He came to the sideline during the review and was like, Coach, I'm I was down. I am 100% sure of it. 
what made him all of a sudden just dot that toe down. Uh, it was a really impressive catch, and, and that got him going. It kind of got our whole sideline going a little bit, and, and uh, it was fun to watch the guys finish the fourth quarter. Yeah, so you answered their score with one of your own, and they missed that extra point as we saw, and now we go to the fourth quarter. You're down by six, 33-27. Yeah, and I was really, I was really happy with the way our defense fought. We had one drive that I thought, you know, we, we had some miscues that we needed to fix. But look at the rally; so many people around the ball. Uh, that's the key: is that you got to run to the ball to play college, you know, fo into college football to play defense. There was a great catch by Jaden Reed, and great throw by John Finney between the two linebackers, and we we really kind of had we had a rhythm going at this point where they didn't know if we were going to try to go over the top or underneath, and we were getting Geo involved. Uh, everybody was doing their part, and uh, when you have uh, the O-line and the running backs we have, there's a little screen play. Uh, you know, you, you can be hard to stop when you're efficient doing a lot of different things. All right, uh, John Wassink back to work here. This is uh, a great catch by Gio Ricci. This was on a big third down. Yeah, it was not a good throw by John, which is it's rare to say because he had so many great throws. He underthrew that, and... And I was proud of the way Gio went up and, and, and made the catch, and, and this was a big, the biggest one by Bird by far. Touchdown number four for Jaden Reed in the corner route, and Broncos, uh, great throw. This one's touched right over the yeah. top of the defender, and he makes a great catch. The defender did a good job trying to wrestle it out of there. He did, I and mean, we threw some eye candy in front of the defender to try to help him get a step, and, uh, but that was a big time catch in a, in a big time situation, and we needed it to get us, get us back into the game. You took the lead there, but they came right back and scored to regain the lead. In like three plays. It was, it was, we, we had a couple miscues, and uh, no one panicked. We, we knew we had the ability to go score again, and, and we just had to go play our game, and, and it, was fun. it was fun to watch them. It was just another opportunity to go down there and make some plays. All right, so here's the uh, game-winning drive in the fourth quarter. John going to work. He had about six and a half minutes here, and there was just some incredible catches during this drive by the Broncos. That one by Gio over the middle. And uh, this one to Keyshawn Watson. I don't know how he got it into the clouds to pull that one down. <laughs> that was a big catch for him, you know, especially on it was the third and six, I believe. And here's the fourth and ten where after throwing it to three different receivers, three or four different receivers on this drive, you know, he, he goes ahead and runs one. So that's hard to stop when you can do all those things. And then the old quarterback sneak. Yeah, with help from Odell Miller, who just bear hugged him and pushed him in the end zone. Odell, you know, John's not going down unless someone knocks Odell down. And that's that's the name of the game on that play. And the O-line promised me they'd get it in if that happened, and, and they got the job done. All right, here your defense gave up a third and long to keep the drive going, but when it counted most, they got him stopped and made him kick a field goal, and they missed. They did. It, we, we made it a 40-yard field, or 50-yard field goal, excuse me, and and made him earn it and didn't didn't let him go down the field and so I, it, it came down to one big kick and uh and our guys did a good job of forcing it. this was a huge tackle right here that tackle is what made them have to kick it and, that's aj uh, thomas making a play a huge huge tackle by him and he pushes it wide right and he had plenty throw. of leg that would have been good from 55 maybe 60. every kickoff was, was out of the end zone that guy had an incredible leg he did he had a huge leg and um you know, so we, we fought, we, we won a close game, you know, and we, we, we made it close, but uh, we found a way to win. Broncos and the Red Hawks meet in the center of the field after the game. There's Justin Tranquil, the leader of your defense. Then you uh, sing with the fans. We always go to the fans. When fans travel with us, which we appreciate, you know, uh, we always go over and sing the fight song with them. We do it in the locker room later on our way, but, uh, but it's always fun to go over there and, and have fun with those guys. And the Broncos pick up a MAC opening victory 40-39. to We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this timeout. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. 
part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there. Own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Shifts to the right of John, who drops back to throw. Looks deep up the boundary, got a receiver wide open into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Jaden Reed scores again. Up the right boundary, inside the pylon on the far sideline. And Western Michigan has answered Miami's field goal with another long touchdown drive. Quite a performance last Saturday by Jaden Reed. Four touchdown receptions in that game. He's from Aurora, Illinois, went to Naperville Central. That's your neighborhood. That is. It's uh, one of our rivals from my high school. Uh, great, great high school football, West Suburbs of Chicago. And uh, man, he's a, for a true freshman, he's having a heck of a year. And, and uh, we're, we're lucky that we, we recruited him and that he's, he's, he's playing at this high of a level this early. There were a lot of schools that were recruiting him, but he ended up being a Bronco. Yeah, you know, he we, we hit it off, and and um, you know, he just liked the family atmosphere here. But there were a ton of there were a ton of other people I know Illinois and Iowa were involved in, but uh, this is where he felt like uh, you know most comfortable. It's not easy for freshmen to make an immediate impact like he has. Uh, and he's got the, the punt returns, uh, the touchdown punt return, and now all these touchdown receptions and leading the MAC in touchdown score it's uh and, and a lot of that goes to our run game because we're able to get him in man-to-man -man matchups which is like when you grew up you play one-on-ones you know but he's reading zones well he read his own against Syracuse the first game that I didn't think he'd ever see and he saw John didn't even see it and so uh you know he's he's definitely ahead of the curve athletically and and he's learning the, he's learning the offense quick and he's a pleasure to have on the field all right Coming up next, we'll look ahead to this week's game against Eastern Michigan after this final timeout on Bronco Review. Introducing Little Caesars Large Hot and Ready Five Meat Feast with five delicious meat toppings. One, two, three, four, five. Including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Only $9 at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Western's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford, or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. 
It's time for more. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. How much did it cost? $5! It's four slices of deep, deep dish and a Pepsi for just $5. Pizza, pizza. Lossing back to throw. Throws the fade up into the air and it's caught for the touchdown! Jaden Reed grabs it in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown! His fourth touchdown of the game! Jaden Reed with another one of his touchdown grabs last weekend. Hopefully he can keep that going this week when you take on Eastern Michigan in the annual homecoming game. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to be home, number one. But Eastern, they're a tough team. They got an unbelievable defense. Um, they got a defensive end in Crosby who's a special player. And uh, they've been able to hold some really good teams' points low. And uh, every game's been a one-point game, two overtime games. And... Uh, well, offensively, they're still trying to figure themselves out. Multiple quarterbacks playing, but, uh, you know, we played them in overtime last year, and uh, it's going to be another close one this year. Yeah, they had a big win earlier over Purdue. Then they uh, lost a tough one to Buffalo. Overtime losses to San Diego State and Northern Illinois. Yeah, which are, those are all really good programs, you know. So uh, they're, they're two and three, I think, probably the best two and three team in, in America. But being at home, you know, having – Having the homecoming crowd there, it'll be, a, it'll be an exciting environment. That's right, and the 88 championship team will be back and uh, got that championship karma in the house. Yeah, Coach Moldy, who recruited me, uh, will be back. I can't wait to see him and uh, just bring all those guys back. They did so much. They, I mean, they won a championship. That's what, we're, we're, that's what our goal is. Good luck against the Eagles. Appreciate it. And we'll be back next week, same time, with all the highlights of the homecoming game as the Broncos take on Eastern Michigan at Waldo Stadium. Kickoff is 12 noon. Coach Luster and our staff here at Bronco Review. I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week.